The Power BI team have been awesomely busy over the last few weeks. There has been a number of changes and there's also been a number of announcements. So I need to keep you in the loop of what's actually going on. So let's go through some of these changes and some of these announcements now. So the first change is the change on the user interface in Power BI services. And when you log in, you'll see that the interface has now changed quite considerably. And these changes are meant to make it easier for you to navigate and find what you need your reports, your dashboards, and your apps. So log in to Power BI services and have a look. It'll give you a quick tour around all of the changes that are there. Now, there was also an announcement about Power BI Premium. So what is Power BI Premium? Well, now we have Power BI Free, we have Power BI Pro, and we have Power BI Premium. And Power BI Pro is charged per user per month. I think it's $10 or 10 euro per user per month. And if you have quite a lot of people in your organization, this is quickly going to add up. So Power BI have come out with this new service, Power BI Premium. And Power BI Premium allows for an in-house server. And then you can allocate users to the Power BI as required. Now you can also issue reports to people that don't have a subscription to Power BI when you have Power BI Premium. So Power BI Premium allows you to have an in-house server for your data and for Power BI. Now this brings us back to Power BI Pro and Power BI Free. And there are some changes here as well. With Power BI Free, they are going to be removing the ability to share and collaborate on reports. And this is only going to be available for Power BI Pro. So things are going to become more streamlined between Power BI Free and Power BI Pro. The functionalities will become the same, but they're going to be removing the ability to share and collaborate with Power BI Free. Now, don't worry if you're using Power BI Free at the moment, for sharing and collaboration because what Microsoft have now done is they're offering everybody a free trial of Power BI Pro and this free trial is going to take you up to I think it's the end of May next year it's in the email we all received an email from Power BI about this change from Power BI free to Power BI Pro so don't forget to log in and get going with Power BI Pro free for a year. Now the next announcement is announcement about Power BI apps and Power BI apps it's not something that I know a huge amount about there's so much involved in Power BI but from what I can gather Power BI apps are going to replace in effect company content packs so everything will be published and distributed through Power BI apps now the announcement for this i think was only made on the 3rd of may today is the 5th of may and yesterday or this morning adam from guy in a cube posted up a video on the power bi youtube channel about the new apps in power bi services so i'll drop a link below the video to that video so you can have a look and see what power bi apps is all about it's worth staying in tune and up to date on these things now finally, who has noticed the change in the Power BI logo? It went from this to this. Quite a subtle change, but a noticeable change. I like the change. Why don't you drop your feedback below the video? Let me know what you think of the new logo and all of these new changes and features that have come into play in the last couple of weeks. And if you like this video, please do like and subscribe and don't forget to give it the thumbs up. Goodbye now.